Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm going to show you how to hook up an FM transmitter to your Raspberry Pi running FPP. This is the easiest thing you're ever going to do. So right now, allegedly, I have the FPP running just a single song over and over again. So it's plugged in, it's running, and if you look on the side, we have these ports. The round port, and this is a Raspberry Pi 4B, 4 gigabyte. Um, this is just a regular uh, audio out jack. So I have a pair of El Cheapo headphones, right? I plug this in and I pull them up to my ears here. See, it's playing Batman Smells, right? So well, anything I plug into that audio out jack, it's going to play. So it could be a pair of headphones, it could be a stereo, speakers, or it can be an FM transmitter. So this is the FM transmitter I've had. I've had this since 2010. Uh, the whole house transmitter wasn't powerful enough for me, so this is slightly more powerful. And this is the mobile black box Eclipse 4000. Uh, it's been great. Uh, they don't make them anymore. So they have other FM transmitters on Amazon. Um, they're all pretty much about the same. What's really important is you don't need a high power FM transmitter. Lower the power, the better. Um, this one, it, and, you know, anything half a watt will more than do you fine. If you have a watt, five watts more, it's way too much. Okay. So typically I'll run this at its lowest power setting. And this is the antenna that comes with it. Um, I never extend the antenna. I keep it all the way down and it works fine. Now, important thing to note, never run a radio transmitter without the antenna attached. You'll burn it up, right? That's where all the power is going is into the antenna. So I attach the antenna, and this one has a barrel B and C connector. So that goes right there. Then I am going to, I have this. So this is just an audio out connection, but I'm doing as much as I can to reduce noise. You don't want buzzing and stuff. So I have this little device that I got off of the uh, off of Amazon, and it claims that it helps reduce noise, and it seems to do a good job. So I plug that into the audio out jack. Then I have this cable, and this is just truly a regular old audio out cable. I, I plug that in there. I take the other end, and I plug it into my audio in like that. So now everything is connected except for the power, and here is the power. So I got this power brick. It's starting to get to be a lot of wires. So I plug the power in right here. Plug this into the power strip like that. Flip on the on switch. Boom. And I have it uh, configured to play on 106.9 FM. Why did I choose that station? Because it's not used around here. Okay, so now I have my little FM receiver. And I love this thing. It's, uh, it uh, charges on a USB. It's really small. fits in my pocket. And I use this when I'm listening to my own show. Or when I go out to listen to shows in the area. Alright, so I power this on. See? Right you got a little bit of buzz, but that can be adjusted. A little bit of buzz, but you can adjust, um, you know, tweak it. You move your antenna up and down, that kind of thing. Try to get rid of noise sources to, to clean it up. But that's it, right? That's, that's how easy it is to hook up an FM transmitter to your uh, Raspberry Pi 4B running FPP.